in Andy Warhol pop art. In this example, I went from taking Q-tip, uh, old wrapper from the 90s, and turned it into this. So that's what we'll be doing today. And I'll show you step by step how to do that. I'm going to start over and use Captain Marvel. So I'm going to pull in Captain Marvel right into Photoshop. All right. Here we go. Now, the most important thing you want to remember is you want to have your layers here visible. You want to have your history. And you also want to choose from these tools right here. So first off, to get your layers and your tools, you want to go to Windows Workspace and go to Photography. That should give you those both the layers and the tools. Now you can toggle around to see which one gives you both. All right, History, you can bring up by going to Windows and bringing up History. That way you can undo as many times as you want. All right, first step. We highlight this layer. So it's not highlighted. Oops. Highlight this layer, click on it, and then we're going to go down here to this little circle. Click on it and hit threshold. Now this should make your your picture look pretty cool. Now, we want to label this first th threshold hair. All right, see we have this little, uh, I think it's a histogram, but we take it and we just want to change the hair so I can get some highlights in the hair. And I'm going to color color the rest of the hair, but I'm going to get, I'm going to put some highlights in there so it looks pretty cool. Maybe right about there. There we go. Mm, a little dark. A little bit of light coming through there. Okay, perfect. Now, I want to go down to this layer. Click it again. See, I don't want to stay on hair. I want to go to click on the original layer. Now I'm going to create another threshold. Click on it. Now this next threshold should be underneath hair. Got to make sure. Double click. Change this to face. Now we're just going to look at the face. Forget about the hair, forget about everything else. We're just going to look at the face. Make sure this is highlighted and adjust this just so the face has some cool some cool stuff in it. Uh, I want to see her eyes. But I want her to look cool at the same time. That's kind of cool. All right. Now here's the thing. Doing this changed my hair. So what I want to do is now I can toggle this little eyeball on and off to see what my hair looked like before. Hair looked like before. Hair looked like when I put the face on. So now what I want to do is I want to paint out the hair on the face layer. Okay? Paint out the, the hair on the face layer. So I highlight the face layer, I go over here, and I make sure that the top, oh, I click on paintbrush. I make sure the top color is black. Okay, the bottom color is white. All right, now it's not letting me paint. Why is it not letting me paint? Well, I'm, I'm on this little circle over here. I'm going to click over on so I can paint on the actual, paint on the picture over here. Now, I can paint, but I want to choose a paintbrush that doesn't suck. So I want to get like a hard paintbrush, make it kind of big. Well, not too big, because I want to, now I'm going to go here, and it's not doing that much because before it was darker. Oh. My, my thing changed over here. I don't know why it changed. Let's make this black. Make sure that's black. 
black paintbrush. Now let's do it. All right, now I'm getting my black back. I'm getting my original highlights back. Now I'm going to get a smaller brush because I don't want to go outside of where the hair is. Paint it back in. There we go. Get my highlights back in there. There we go. I'm just going to take a look at the bottom layer. Okay. Make sure I got all those highlights. Our hair comes down here. Okay, cool. That looks good. All right. So I see the hair. Now it's important to see that the hair is painted on the face. Now I want to create an. I want to create a new threshold, but I do not want to create the threshold from the threshold. I want to click on the original picture, scroll down, and click on threshold. Now create a new one from the original picture. Label this body. All right. Now I'm going to adjust this thing when I'm clicked on here. I'm going to adjust just so I change the body. All right, let's see. Uh, how much black do I want in there? That's my whole body. I'm going to back off to about about there and, and anything you guys do is fine everybody's different tastes so now I gotta paint back in the face and the hair so I go back up to my brush and on body I'm gonna paint back in the face and the hair oh now I like I can't paint what's happening I gotta click on this so I paint on this alright let's paint it back in there we go. That's the face I wanted. That's the hair I wanted. All right. Now, I don't want to paint like on her. Well, I'm going to paint back in her face. Yeah. Let's get the hair back in there. Alright, there we go. Let's see what the original looks like. Oh yeah, the hair goes way down there. And I can always turn this off to see what it looked like before. Oh, see, I'm missing some up there. Alright, I'm missing some up here. Let's see, I turn turn my body off that I just did. I'm missing some on the face and on the hair. Right there. A lot here. Alright. There we go. So now I got my body. If you look at this, I did my body. I did the hair here. So I did the hair and face right on body. I did just the hair on the face part and nothing on the hair. Now I am ready to paint in the actual parts, the hair, face, and body. So I don't want to paint on these layers. What I want to do is click on here and create a new layer a new layer and I want to put it up on top and I want to label it let's label it hair color now this is very important I do not want to uh, well here I'll show you let's say I want to paint the hair red all right. If I just paint on the hair, I'm going to paint right over it. All right. Let's go back in history. 
I need to change this layer to multiply. Once again, I need to change the color layer. Click on it, and then go here and multiply. Now, when I color on it, I leave the black part on there. All right? And go. So color in your entire hair. All right, so I colored in the hair the way I like it. Now I want to color in the face. Now I could choose a different color like oh, blue. Just choose blue. Choose a light blue. And I could start coloring on her face, but you don't want to do that because you're putting it on the hair color. So go back and create a new layer called face color. All right, now you paint on top of that. Oh, what did I forget to do? I forgot to make this a multiply layer. Got to make this layer a multiply layer. Now, it will, you'll see the stuff through there. And I don't want to overlap it onto the red, because then it's going to be weird. So I want to just do the face. All right. I'm doing this quick so I can do the tutorial. All right. I did that. I'll be bit there. All right, now I need to do the body. So I'm going to click on a new layer again. New layer. I'm going to call this body color. Now remember to make it a multiply layer. All right? Multiply, multiply. Now you click on that and you, whoops, Choose another color. Gosh, I'm going to choose, I don't know, yellow, orange, orange. How about orange? Yeah, let's do orange. All right. So now I'm just going to paint in the body, right? All right, I'm almost done with the body layer. Uh, I just wanted to show you guys, you can always click on Alt or Option on the original thing to see where it is. So you can fill it in. See, I'm missing some shoulders. So I'm going to go up here on the shoulders, give her some more shoulder. And come down like that. All right, cool. Now, my background's white because it just worked out that way. However, your background might have some a bunch of stuff in it. So either way, what you wanna do is you wanna have the background colored. So your next step is to create another layer for background color. Background color. Now here's the deal. You do not want to make this a multiply layer. You do not. Do not. Make it normal. Because if you have stuff in the background, you want to paint over it. So let's pick a color. And we'll pick how about green? Alright. Now you're probably saying, why can't I just do a paint bucket? You probably can. Let's see. Let's drop a paint bucket on here. Oh my gosh, we lost everything because it's on top. Let's bring it down below here. No, that doesn't work. Let's bring it down, down, down. No, doesn't work. So we've got to, we got to paint in the 
background. Now there is a way to do it with selection, but um, we're not going to do it that way. We're going to do it by painting it in. So click on a big old brush and start painting that background in. All right, I painted all I can using this big brush. Now I want to go in and make the brush smaller so I can get in those little hard to reach spots like in here. And feel free to zoom in. If you hit Windows Plus, you can zoom in to these spots. Get right up in there. And remember, you're, you're painting over it. It's not multiply. So get right up next to it. Oh. All right, and when you're done, I do Windows negative to zoom out, and I'm gonna skip ahead to when I'm done. I did a pretty good job. Now what I wanna do is, is put it into a grid of four. But before I do that, you can go in here if you want and click on these layers. and do some last minute adjustments to the face if you really want to, All right? I actually kind of like it a little, uh, no, I like the way I had it. Anyway, you can click on here, do a little more of the hair, whatever you like. Anyway, so before I flatten and make it a grid, I like to kind of make a little some cool stuff so on the background I'm gonna make some some colors so um, I'm gonna change my color to kind of dark green and I'm gonna pick a a weird brush like a splatter right here make it real big and I'm gonna splatter on the back Boom, just to make it kind of cool. You know, you can little, oh, oh, no, don't do that. If you want to, you can. Yeah, do whatever you want. All right. Boom. Boom. Boom, 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 boom. It just kind of makes it, you know, less boring. All right. <clears throat> now, I want to add a little bit to her uniform. You can keep it like this. This is extra, but I'm going to add a little bit. I'm going to grab this little leaf and maybe just kind of, oh, I want to, I don't want it to be green on here, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on orange. And if I, if I go over to this orange, I can sample it. See how I'm in the sample color? So I can click on the orange and now just make a darker orange. Kind of dig that. But you guys can put whatever you want on it. All right, like a little pew. Pew. Now why is it? Okay, why am I getting this? Oh, you know why? Because it's a multiplication layer. So you should do all your extras on the background layer. So let's go back up to background. And then I'll go. Boom. Boom. Huh. Maybe this brush does weird things. I don't know. Anyway, you can pick whatever you want. Spruce it up however you want. Or you can just leave it. I kind of dig this. So what I'm going to do now is uh, make it into a grid. So you've done everything. You want to make it into a 4x4 four four grid. That kind of looks like this. So how do we do that? Well, you go to here, and you have first have to get rid of all this. So you have to flatten all of these layers. So you go up to image, or no, I'm sorry, layer, and you flatten the image right here. Flatten it down. 
Now see all your layers went into one big layer called background. All right, now what you want to do is give yourself some space so you can make you know something bigger, uh, a four by four grid. So I want you to go to image, canvas size. And you're on a canvas right now. So what I want you to do is double these numbers. Use your calculator on your phone. 19.4 times 2 is 38.8. So I'm going to go 38.8. And then 9.7 times 2 is like 19.4. All right. Now, here's the deal. It's going to open from the inside, so click on this little thing. It really doesn't matter if you don't, but you click on here, and then zoom out. All right. Now you've got space. All right, you're almost done. Zoom into this layer and take off the, the lock. All right, so I clicked on this lock, got rid of it, and now I want to get rid of this white background. So I click on the magic wand and click and hold magic wand and I click on the white part and I delete or backspace. Now I want to duplicate this layer, make four of them. So I right click or um, control click and you get and you go up to duplicate layer. Sure. See, I got two of them. I'm going to keep doing that until I have four. Right click, duplicate layer. Okay. Right click, duplicate layer. Four. Hmm. Now, see how this thing's still selected? If, you, if it's ever like this, just click on any of these selection tools and click anywhere. It'll go away. Now go up to the move tool. The move tool. Click on this and grab any layer and pull it over here. All right? Grab another layer, pull it into this little area. Grab another layer, pull it over here. And now you have your little grid, and you can actually see which ones are in that area so check this out um, you can't turn it in like this because you gotta change the colors so here's how you do this you click on one I'm gonna I'm gonna change this top right so I go I click on the layer and I go up to image adjustment and I wanna go to you and saturation alright once again click on a layer Go to Image, Adjustment, U, and Saturation. And you're going to change the hue, the top one. And you're just going to pull it anywhere. There you go. I'm going to make mine have a red face up there, pink. Uh, red. Where's red? Oh, there we go. Why is it? Oh, there we go. All right, I'm going to keep it like that. Green. All right, cool. Um, now you want to do that to each one. Do that to each one, and you're good to go. There's red. All right. So I'm going to go to the bot, this one right here. Go to Image, Adjustment, U and Saturation. Drag it over to here or drag it over here and make it whatever color you want uh, I think I already made a red face so let's do a another go purple oh, there we go Uh, that's fine. Purple. Alright, now I'm going to click on the 
other one and go U and saturation. And let's make this one be green. That's kind of cool. All right. Now you are done. You are done. Um, save it. All right, saving. Now you can flatten this and make it four different layers. But if you want to adjust it later, you can keep it as four different layers. So let's let's just um, let's just uh, do the whole thing. We'll save our file. We'll save. All right, it's going to say, "What do you want to save it as?" Save it on the desktop. I'm going to say Captain Marvel dash sugar. All right. That's for me in my Google Drive. I want to save one to turn in. So I'm going to, I'm going to do another save as, and I'm not going to keep it as a Photoshop file. See, PSD, Photoshop. I'm going to make a JPEG file so I can turn that in in Google Classroom or wherever. So, go JPEG. This thing should change to JPEG. Come on. Whatever. Okay. Anyway, it should be .jpg on yours. Now hit... Oh, that's why it won't work. Because I gotta flatten the backgrounds before I just do a picture. So I'm gonna go image layer, flatten image, and now I'm going to go File, Save As, a JPEG image. There you go. Now I just have a picture. Maximum quality. All right. So now I look on the desktop, and I've got my Captain Marvel original picture. Captain Marvel Photoshop and JPEG are going to look exactly the same. But you can see, like, this is the one you want to keep for yourself because you can open it up and change it later with all your layers. And this is the one you're going to turn in because if you open this up, it's just a picture. All right. Now go into Google Classroom. Google Classroom. I'm sorry, not, yeah, well first, okay, not Google Classroom, you want to save it on your Google Drive, so go to here, Animation 1, wherever you keep your stuff, I keep it in Projects, and I take my stuff, I like to keep my original picture, drag the whole thing in here, and I save everything. And which one are you going to turn in? The picture. So now you go to... Google Classroom pick on uh, graphic design don't go to stream it's garbage click on classroom and do your Andy Warhol now you're gonna turn it in view assignment and you'll see something else but you gotta turn yours in alright sounds good hope this helps guys